America has a weight problem and it's growing. The latest numbers show that about two thirds of Americans are either overweight or obese. And like so many people, Susie Soto has been on a weight loss seesaw for years. I've tried pills, shakes, and everything else, and just nothing worked. Now there's a new option for the millions like Susie trying to lose weight. It's these capsules called Plenity. They look like a drug, but Dr. Louis Aroni, renowned obesity researcher at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell, conducted some of the clinical trials on Plenity. He says they're actually considered a powerful new weight loss technology. This really opens up uh, medical treatment or device treatment to a completely new group of patients. That's because the FDA has approved Plenity for anyone with a body mass index or BMI of 25 to 40. You only have to be 10 or 15 pounds over ideal to qualify. Here's how it works. Once you swallow the capsules, they absorb 100 times their weight in water, forming a soft gel in the stomach that takes up about one quarter of the average stomach. Because of the unique molecular structure of the gel, it also binds and integrates with food, slowing its absorption. Because the gel isn't metabolized or absorbed, it has no more side effects than placebo, but it has a dual effect for weight loss. It makes you feel full sooner, but by slowing down the absorption of calories, that can have metabolic effects and effects on appetite that go beyond just the filling effect. Now, in clinical trials, volunteers lost an average of 6.5% of their body weight, but most actually lost 10%, including diabetics and pre-diabetics, those who are most at risk for weight health issues. Planity won't actually be available until late this year. The cost and insurance coverage hasn't yet to be determined. And so, so we'll far you out. can't tell whether there are any downsides. Doesn't sound like it. it they're not, it's not absorbed. It kind of just passes uh, through oh. the system. Mm -hmm. So they said um, in the clinical trials, the adverse effects were the same as placebo.